Smart double headphones, demon approved. <laughs> Well, hello there all, RetroRob here, and welcome to RetroRob Plays Everything. From time to time, I get an item to do an unboxing and first impressions on, and this is one of those times. Look at that. It is, they're devils. They're smart devil earbuds. And I'm, my hands were in front of the mic. This is, that's a problem, huh? Anyway, what's not a problem is, I've got these, and I'm going to unbox them for you, and try them out, and tell you what I think of them. Uh, I think we're going to start by reading the manufacturer's description and get kind of a feel for them. Smart Devil Wireless Earbuds Bluetooth 5.3 Environmental Noise Cancellation ear <laughs> In-Ear Bluetooth Earbuds. The lightest weight headphones in black. And uh, as you can see, they've, uh, yeah, they've got all the, the, the words packed into that title. All right, we got this. Let's take a look at, okay, new Bluetooth 5.3, no sense of delay, uh, some call noise reduction, and what else we got? 26 hour battery life, that's a that's a pretty good battery life. Um, that's more than what I get out of mine, I think I get about 12, so that's pretty good. Patented sound cavity, I'm making you sick with this, aren't I? <laughs> Patented sound cavity structure, uh, apparently it has a bunch of little people in it, which I that's pretty exciting, right? Uh, IP5, IPX5 waterproof. Uh, keep going in the heavy rain. Uh, those that is not a submersible rating. Uh, that's like a you, you, IP5 or IPX5 means you you can be in the rain though, and it won't be a problem or shouldn't be a problem even heavy rain. And that is true. However, I would not dunk them underwater. And artificial body design, which will ergonomically ergonomically fit your ear all right um yeah there's not a lot to say here uh that isn't said in the basic advertising other than it is thirty dollars and and there's a 20 percent off coupon i guess for me you may or may not get that depending on your amazon status i'm guessing or what day of the week it is or the phase of the moon or who knows what else but anyway uh let's go open this thing up and start as we always do with the front of the box. Smart Devil E07 True Wireless Bluetooth Earbuds. Unlike those fake ones out there. You fake Bluetooth earbuds. But these aren't. These are low game latency. Bluetooth 5.3. 26. They've been very consistent about the 26 hour battery life. And ENC call noise reduction. It's also an innovative design. Brand of digital. Hmm. Huh. And here's the back of the box, E07 True Wireless Bluetooth Earbuds. And there's nothing here that isn't said on the front. Uh, however, I am going to say this. It says 26 hours of battery life, but then down here, music playtime is 7 hours. So we'll have to see what the deal with that is. Uh, we've got a charging case that says 19 hours. So I'm assuming that stores 19 hours. But, you know, you know who doesn't know what the heck they're talking about? This guy. Yeah. Better open it before I say something else stupid. All right, here we go with the smart devils. Open it up. Hope I have enough fingernail. I do, I do. Shh, there's an ASMR portion of the video. I'll just whisper for another 20 minutes. No, we're not gonna do that. All right, uh, smart devil box. And how do we open it? Am I smarter than the box? That is the big question here. And that is, uh, that's an important question to get answered here. Okay. Here we go. Okay, what do we got in the box? We got one instruction manual. We got the spare ear doodly thingies. <laughs> I'm a professional audiophile. Uh, the, the ear thingies. <laughs> oh man. Um, let's see, we got some cables here. What do we got? USB C, I am guessing. Yeah, it looks 
looks like USB-C. Sometimes it's hard to tell on camera what I'm looking at. Yeah, that's definitely USB-C. Maybe I should just look at it in person instead of looking at it through the camera. And I would know. For sure. Look at that little sigh that looks... Oh, I can't identify a cable that I identify every day. Okay, oh, we got a lanyard. This is nice. Oh, I like this. This is rubbery. Yeah. Mm, I got no complaints there. So, uh... Big ear people, tiny ear people, I'm going to assume the normal ear people get this. <laughs> I'm talking about their ear holes. Oh, look at that. You can see them from... Look at that. Yes. I like that. All right. And here we have the little buds themselves. They look like neat little beans. Uh, it says something I'm going to guess is important here. Please remove before use. Okay. And so, oh, I see. There we go. And I've removed it. And they're slightly magnetic. Looking good. And it looks like... Looks like it indicates on the buds themselves. That is really cool looking. So it indicates on the buds itself its charge level. That's pretty cool. I like that. Mm, classy. All right. I am going to make sure these are fully charged before I start messing with them. Uh, so I'm going to go plug this guy in. And uh, I'm probably going to spend a year or two uh, getting this lanyard to go. I used to have a really good trick, but I haven't done it in years. But you squish the lanyard head together and you kind of curve it and usually it'll fit right through. I used to show this on the channel but um, I'm gonna bet you it's gonna fail miserably at this point because I'm way out of practice. So I'm smushing the tip of it. And then, <laughs> number one I can't actually see and that's that's always a problem. Oh, <laughs> Now I dropped it. Good job. Well, I'm going to go do that off camera. But anyway, really, really though, there is, there, there's a trick to it. You, you, you curve it, you switch together and then curve it as much as you can at the end and it will come around. That's it. You know what? We're going to try it. We're going to try it. I, I love how I'm doing it like mostly off camera. Come on. I see it. It's poking through. Don't drop the head. Got it. Look at that. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. I have succeeded. Put that through. And I've wasted about 45 seconds of your time. I'm gonna go charge this thing. You know what I really, really need? Like, more fingerprints on this desk. Oh, anyway. Here, let's open this guy up. And let's start pairing. Come on. Find him. Here we go, the smart devil. And I'm pairing. Almost there. Getting near. There we go, connected. That easy. Once connected, you can see the little headphone right there and how much battery you got left. Yeah, this autofocus is great. Once your earbuds are connected, you can tap your right ear twice, right here. To enter play. You can do it twice again to stop. You'll hear a little click, by the way, to let you know that you're pressing the button. If you'd like to fast forward, three times on your right ear. If you want to go back one song, three on the left. If you'd like to enter gaming mode, do five taps on the right ear. And it will turn game mode either on or off, depending on what mode it's in. 
Uh, game mode basically is a low latency mode. You know how if you're if you're listening to like music on your Bluetooth set and there's a video going on, the video is like a little bit ahead of the audio. That'll stop that from happening. I think the cost is probably a little bit of quality and fidelity, and I'm gonna guess it'll probably eat up more battery life. If you'd like to reset your earbuds, press and hold both of these for eight seconds. I'm not gonna do it by the way. And that will clear your current settings and put it back into parry mode. This is a test of the microphone built into the earbuds. How they sound, okay? I then spent about a week listening to all sorts of different types of music and podcasts on these earbuds. And uh, when I got done, I recorded this. And uh, this clip art you see is the best I could come up with to represent that. Sorry. Do you want to be a real gamer? Do you want to see every episode of Retro Rob Plays Everything just as it comes out? How much would you pay to have that ability? $100? $1,000? 1 million freaking dollars? Well, guess what? If you hit subscribe right now and ring that bell, you can get every episode of Retro Rob Plays Everything as they come out for free. And you'll be a real gamer. Whatever that means. All right, I've spent about a week with the Smart Devil earbuds, and I have some notes there to my left, and I'll try not to read too much directly off them. Uh, first thing I'm going to say is that you should absolutely, where are they? Here they are. You should absolutely, positively uh, make sure that you are getting a solid, um, a solid, seal with your ear um remember how i said like i was laughing about people with big ear holes oh i hate saying that that just sounds i don't know but anyway <laughs> I, talk, I talked about uh large ear canals there we go um i ended up using the larger ones so these run a little bit small just so you know uh if you have a gigantic ear canal if you have the if you have boats passing through your ear canal uh you might want to note that um so I did end up using the largest ones I had, and it sealed up good. And the sound quality between when you're fully sealed up and have this in here right and not is a night and day difference. So you want to make sure you absolutely seal these right. Um, and then it sounds pretty darn good. I listen to a wide range of music. Uh, classical, it, it, classical generally does sound good on earbuds, um, but I found that it hit the high notes really well. It had a way above it, above, above, above <laughs> average uh, mid range, like in almost every, no, in everything I played. I, it was really, really a very clear mid range, which that's not real common because usually it's muddled. Uh, I played the majority of Until the End of the World soundtrack on it, which usually, you know, makes a bit of a mess out of earbuds, and they sounded really, really good. Um, I played a little bit of country. I did uh, Zachariah and the Lost Lobos Raiders. And uh, is it Raiders? Anyway, and that sounded really good too. And, they, and sometimes they sound a little bit, a little bit twing, twingy. Um, so that was pretty good as well. Uh, it broke up a little bit under metal. I did some Lords of the Trident. And um, yeah, it, it, it did start to break up. The thing about metal is it, it hits a lot of bass and then pops up into high range uh especially like lords of the trident where you know um it's really high uh range singing and it would break up a little bit there uh under high volume that said uh i, I could not take the top volume on this uh most of the time i just kept it kind of in the middle to the low part um so yeah it was uh it was pretty good experience again uh metal i might not that might not be the best for these but i have yet to find a uh, a set of earbuds that really sound that great with metal so you know take it as it is i did try a couple other metal songs i'm trying to remember what they were and it was 
pretty much the same thing. 80s metal, 80s style metal, um, just has, it, it just makes a wreck out of them in general. Uh, and that's every earbud I've ever tried. Uh, what else about it? Uh, battery life was in excess, I think, of what they said. I didn't really, like, I never ran out of power on it, and I very often just was keeping it in the case uh, without charging it. So, um, had no problems. I'm absolutely sure it meets its, like, six or eight hour, or whatever they said on there. Um, no problems there at all. In fact, I used it. I went mowing, <laughs> and then I took a nap with them in which I do a lot, you know, I listen to some of those ASMR videos, help you sleep and cover up, you know, background noise. I don't know why I'm telling you all this, but anyway, that's, uh, that's how my testing is. It does work. <laughs> uh, what else was, was I going to say about it? Oh yeah. Gaming mode. Uh, it does reduce latency. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I don't think it sounds as good, uh, when it's doing that. It, I, I thought it lost a little bit of clarity when it was running in gaming mode, but gaming mode is almost a necessity uh, with Bluetooth because you want the game to be lining up with the sound. That's a big deal. Um, some negatives, I'd say that uh, there's no sound control on the uh, earbuds themselves, so I couldn't do, you know, like five taps or whatever to increase the volume. I think on some of them it's like hold, uh, hold and tap. Uh, so that was a little bit of a negative that said the actual controls on the earbuds work really really well It's very easy to find them and since it makes that little positive click noise It makes a you know in your ear. It makes a little tick 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 uh, That worked really well. It was easy to tell when you hit it. It was easy to hit them That's really really nice like that a lot uh, Last thing I think I'll mention is that the Bluetooth distance is acceptable, but it was definitely not phenomenal uh, I did a little video on that uh, earlier. If you saw that, then that's, you know, how it is. Uh, all in all, I mean, these things are about 30 bucks and I will definitely say that they are my new go-to earbuds. These are going to be the ones that I use from now on. Uh, I really like them. I like the design, like the sound, you know, like I said, it's not perfect. It, you, you don't get perfect for 30 bucks, but it's really good, uh, sound. And I think the construction quality is pretty good. So all in all, thumbs up. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful or <laughs> I almost said helpful, if you found it useful or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.